Uh, reason for the RMDZ program, AB 939 uh, in 1989 required that all California jurisdictions divert 50% by 2000. And in order to help local jurisdictions achieve those goals, the RMDZ program was established by the legislature. Uh, 40 zones were designated over a four-year cycle, and uh, currently, after the 10-year cycle was over, uh, only 33 renewed, so we have seven vacancies. We're probably going to have another cycle of designation next year. Uh, the RMDZ program was drafted to create markets for recyclable materials through the manufacturing of products. RMDZ helps put back into the economy the resources that were saved. By creating local markets for these recycled content products, the manufacturing community reduces transportation costs and saves resources, both environmental and economic. Economic development and recycling. Recent studies show that recycling puts more dollars into the economy than disposal. Recycling a ton of waste has twice the economic impact of burying it in the ground. Wages producing more goods and services generating sales. Two recent studies were commissioned by the Waste Management Board, one by UC Berkeley and the other is a study called the California Recycling Economic Information Study to measure the economic impact of recycling. I have these studies available. I didn't want to put too many slides up here regarding those. So if anybody wants to see those studies or wants copies of them, please uh, come to me later and I'll get them out to you. Purpose of RMDZ partnerships, to encourage manufacturing from recycling materials. The RMDZ program is a partnership between the state, local government, and business. This partnership benefits businesses and communities by creating local markets for recyclables, creating jobs, increasing the diversion of waste materials from going to local landfills. M loan program overview. The RMDZ program has a nice incentive to offer loans to recycling ba manufacturing based businesses. It provides direct low interest rate loans to businesses. Current loan rate is 5%. It's tied to the prime rate. Uh, it's every six months, once in uh, in June and one and June and once in December, I think, is when the uh, rates are established by the board. The business must be located in one of the 33 designated RMDZs. Eligible project must show diversion of non-hazardous solid waste from California landfills. Primary purpose of the loan is to assist recycling businesses financially for startup operations or expansion projects that manufacture recycled content product, diverting recyclables from our landfills. The key is that the business is creating a value added product using a material that's being normally diverted into a landfill. Targeted commodities. Construction, demolition materials, organic, composting, paper, plastics, wood, textiles, tires, electronic waste. These are the types of recyclables in which we place a major emphasis on keeping out of our landfills. RMDZ funds can be used for machinery and equipment purchases, acquisition of owner-occupied real property, maximum of a million dollars, leasehold improvements, working capital, Refining of, refinancing of onerous debt if related to the project at hand. A few examples of ineligible uses of loan funds are R&D, research and development, demonstration projects, and expenses related to hazardous waste. Uh, details about the loan program. Type, direct loans between the board and the business. Amount $2 million is the maximum that we will loan out on a project not exceeding 75% of a project's cost. Uh, up to 10 years for standard uh, loans. If there's real estate involved, we can go to 15 years. Fixed rate from term of loan, $300 at time of application, half a point due at time of loan funding. Application processing takes approximately 60 to 120 days depending on the complexity of the project and how quickly paperwork is turned around. Necessary permits must be obtained before approval. Loan applications are processed on a first-come, first-served basis. 
and those ready to present to loan committee and the board. Do zone businesses get loans? The answer is yes. We've done 135 loans so far. Over $80 million has been put out, $10 million in loan this fiscal year, and $19 million, is about, about $19 million is available for next fiscal year. These figures are cumulative from a program's first loan in 1994. As a result of these loans, an estimated two million tons of materials are diverted from landfill disposal each year. Other services offered by RMDZ. We help finding feedstock, help businesses market their products, access to technical business expertise, refer businesses to other types of financing and grants, coordinate permits, connections with other government agencies. An example is our RecycleStore.com website, Recycle Content Products database, and trade shows that we participate in. As far as helping businesses with um, getting their feet off, foot off the ground type thing, uh, we coordinate with small business development centers, SCORE, and uh, those type of um, resources that are available to businesses. As far as construction and demolition, um, there's a handout in the back that has a listing of all the uh, websites, links, and what have you, but I just listed one here, the board's database on uh, construction, demolition, recyclers. Uh, the, Cal the RMDZ program has assisted 86 CND businesses since its inception. Um, businesses that have received loans Businesses that have received loans. Of the above 86 businesses that I mentioned, 22 received an RMDZ loan. Those that deal with wood waste as feedstock are 46. Of, the f of those, nine businesses received an RMDZ loan. Our mission is th can benefit a business community while lessening its environmental impact. As information about the program's website and myself. 